In this video, we answer the question, why do we look stiff when we dance West Coast Swing? Gang, Brian B, West Coast Swing Align, and in this Frustration Friday, we're going to cover a topic that's difficult, tricky, or troublesome here for West Coast Swing, and this is one we get a lot. It's, why do I look stiff when I dance? And first thing I want you to do is take out the excuse. I hear there's some older dancers, and granted, as we get older, I'm about to hit my 45th birthday. We don't move quite as good as we did when we were younger, but there are definitely some things we can do to improve the suppleness of our dancing. Cool beans? So let's cover up front two things, and we're going to step back. I'm going to give you a couple of drills. I'm going to give you some resources that will help. There's two main areas. I'm going to use the easiest one first. The easiest one is to practice uh, rolling through our feet and separating out our footwork. The other thing is to understand some isolations in our bodies and some ways to move our body and then implement that to our dancing. So what I want to do first is I'm going to bring my trusty. I've taught this isolation workshop all around the world. And if we look at this, this is just a hard marker, notice West Coast Swing Online colors, right? But if we move it at the right speed, it almost looks like it's rubbery. I know I was one of those kids in school, I got bored and I used to do this with my pencil. So the, uh, as we learn to isolate our body and we learn to move at specific speeds, we can look less stiff when we dance. But let's cover the easy one first. This is uh, footwork. So we're gonna hop back here, we're gonna talk about some things we can do with our footwork. What we need to do is be able to roll through our feet. It's a pretty basic concept. So first things first, let's do, um, let's do leader's anchor step, right? In a very stiff way, if everything was stuck together, right? My sides of the body were stuck together. This is ultimately about as stiff as I could be, right? And none of us are this bad almost ever. So what I can do though, is I can practice rolling through my feet and get some separation and some isolation, right? So we've got a whole video on this that includes um, not only the concept of rolling through your feet, but a way to style it as well. I'm gonna link that up, or Miss Megan's gonna link that up in the, uh, up in the corner and in the description below. So grab that video, it's gonna walk you through the entire drill that we use to practice rolling through your feet. I think this is the easiest way to look less stiff when we dance. So the idea of rolling through the feet is instead of stepping flat-footed, right? I'm going to roll through from the toe or the ball of my foot, toe to the ball to the heel, driving through my knee, and then finally the rest of my body goes. So I'm rolling through incrementally into my foot. So I can use that walking back where I trace my foot and roll incrementally through my foot, right? And I can also do that in triple steps like my anchor step where I roll trip step. So what you want to do, if you're counting, let's say, the five and six of an anchor, if I, and again, this is leader's footwork, you just reverse it for the followers, but if I do everything all together, it's very stiff. If I can isolate my footwork by rolling through my feet, I roll, I roll, I roll, and all of a sudden you're going to see some movement down here. Now my upper body might appear a little stiff at this point, but to be honest, that's pretty darn good right there. So Download that video, Rolling Through Your Feet. Practice the drill. We do a whole drill where we practice triple steps and some styling, which will really get you moving uh, for your footwork. Hey guys, sorry to interrupt, but if you like what you see, please take a second to subscribe to the YouTube channel. That's the red button in the bottom right of the screen. And when you're done watching the video, head over to westcoastswingonline.com, enter your email, and you'll be part of our exclusive Move of the Week Club. Thanks, and we look forward to seeing you on the dance floor soon. Second one is a little bit more difficult. I think the footwork thing's relatively easy. It's a pretty easy drill to master. Um, the other one is isolations, and there's a lot of different isolations. So we need to be able to move our body blocks separately from one another. So let's quickly define our body blocks in a big overview. We can have our base, right? That might be one body block. We can have our hips. That might be another body block. We might have our rib cage, there's another one, and then our head's another one. So I can use them in isolation, right, each one by themselves. Make sense? Cool, I can move, I don't have to move everything all together. I can move my head, followed by my body, followed by my hips and feet, and so on and so forth. So, Miss Emily and I believe Miss Megan, actually I lied, Miss Emily and Mr. Ben 
did a great video on this. We're going to link that up. There's a whole isolations. They walk you through a bunch of different isolations that you can do in a chair. But just again, a sneak quick preview. Again, Miss Megan will link that video up there. We need to be able to isolate our shoulders, right? We need to be able to isolate both shoulders. We need to be able to rotate our shoulders independent of our hips and our head, right? We don't want everything going together, right? That would be very awkward and stiff. So we need to be able to isolate just our rib cage rotating from our head so that everything doesn't go together. We need to be able to practice rolling those shoulders around your center point, right? And if you were to combine all of that, you would get things where you'd be able to move your body. But here's the struggle that we find out. Number one, people don't spend enough time. They want to skip steps in the process. So spend some time and master each one by itself. You're not going to be able to connect the dots all together. I've used this in other videos, the dating analogy, right? If you're looking to find a date, maybe a, a girlfriend, a boyfriend, a husband, a wife, there's steps that you have to go through to predictably get dates. You can't just go, hey, want to get married? You're jumping too far. You have to develop some rapport, spend some time there. You got to ask them in a coffee. Then you might progress to dinner, then maybe in dinner and drinks, and it's going to take some time. So spend time in each part of the process. So download that video with rolling through the feet, practice rolling through your feet until that becomes automatic and you can start to put that in your patterns. And then number two, watch the video that Miss Emily and Ben did um, on isolation so you can learn how to just isolate everything. You haven't mastered not being stiff yet, but you've learned to move your body um, more supplely and in an independent manner. And then you can start to put those two skills into your dancing to be less stiff. So thanks for hanging out with us on our Frustration Fridays. Uh, definitely download those resources. Uh, make sure you subscribe to the channel. Give this a like if you have a specific question. Please drop it below and we will either link up a resource we already have for you or we'll make a video to answer your question. And if you have yet to visit West Coast Swing Online, please do that. I've lied to you before. I say there's 50 free videos on your free membership. I checked this morning um, and there are 67 free videos on a free membership. So head on over there and then you'll be on our email list where we share some really cool resources that we don't share anywhere else. Uh, so thanks gang. Hope you guys are staying well and we'll see you again in the next video.